welcome to another video. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be working on my massive cross stitch and right now I have 6.15% completed. I did a little bit this past week, not a lot. That equals 4,640 drills. So I still have a long way to go. I um, am on my next rows. So I did finish the bottom row and I'll show you the progress on that once I finish these. So I'm going to be working hopefully on six today because that's what I'm used to doing, but it's not easy doing this and talking, but I'm going to just watch the time. If it gets over an hour, then I will just stop. I can finish those later. And I'm working on an angle with Pattern Keeper in case you wanted to just see what I was looking at. Um, there's a glare. I may have to change this up. I'm going to try it and see how this goes and then we'll see. I'm definitely trying to keep my head out of it so that doesn't help either. So how's everybody doing today? How's your week been going so far? Have you gotten anything accomplished? I've gotten quite a bit done. This is actually Thursday morning for me. I usually wait and do this video on Fridays and then upload for Saturday. But I wanted to go ahead and get this done because we may have a busy weekend and starting with Friday afternoon. And so I wanted to have plenty of time to get this in. I didn't want to do it on the same day that I am actually going to upload it because YouTube has been acting a little weird this week. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just YouTube in general, but it's taking a while for anything really to upload and it normally doesn't take as long as it has been, especially on my Tuesday whip and chat, it took me all afternoon to get that one to where it would upload. And that's really unusual. Normally it doesn't take that long at all for me. But I've heard that others have had some issues with YouTube this week. So I want to make sure I have plenty of time in case YouTube doesn't play very nice. At least with the start of this, there's quite a few colors in here. I don't have to go through and do one or two. That's where it's been kind of annoying. It is a lot of confetti, but it would be kind of nice if I can get it to where it's not so much confetti and I can actually get something done. Especially trying to talk and do this, it's just kind of funny how I have to concentrate a little bit and then try to figure out what I'm going to say. This is on row 10, so I go there. I'm really glad that I'm seeing some progress. It took me forever to get down to the bottom, but at least I'm there. And so that is nice. One of these days I'm going to be able to just spend an entire afternoon and just work on this cross stitch conversion. But that is not this week and probably not next week either. We shall see. I am really enjoying, the more that I do this, the more I enjoy it. It's fun to see this coming together and I'm loving all the colors. But then it's so large that it gets kind of frustrating too because I feel like I'm working on this for a long time and not getting much accomplished because it is so large, but that's okay. Once I can start seeing some progress, then I will really enjoy it, I think. I am going to go over some of the comments. Just kind of want to get started a little bit before I did that. One, two, three, and four. Where am I? I'm on the first. OK, 
okay what am I doing I am on the wrong no I'm not I'm back up here okay let's get back to this okay I'm up here I started on the bottom I don't know why I went back over there that was silly okay so now there we go I knew something was totally wrong See, it's hard I can't do more than one thing at a time it seems like okay I'm enjoying doing this as a video because I know at least I will get some done before the end of the week because I'm working on this so then it's going to take me a few minutes on this one because I've been just working my way straight down so now I'm going to work my way down and across so I'm going to have to remember what I'm doing that might take me a few minutes just to remember that I am going across and down instead of just going straight across. I don't know what this is doing. There we go. I'm going to see. I kind of want to go across now just at least on the top to see, make sure that everything is good. That I ordered everything I needed to. That I do have the right size. I'd hate to get to this and then realize that I totally messed up and that I had the wrong size. I did that one. That would definitely not be good. I wanted to work on this yesterday, but I just couldn't get into it. I don't know what the problem was, but I just couldn't do it. Do you have days like that where you know you want to diamond paint, but you just don't know what you want to do? And every time I pick something up, I thought, no, nah, I'm not really in the mood to do this one. No, nah, I'm not really in the mood to do this one either. So that was kind of tough. Let's see, one, two, three. This is going to take me a hot minute. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the, when I get to the third section over here, I may have to move it a little bit just to see what I'm doing. But let me go ahead, I'm going to open up the comments. And the first comment is from Suzanne. And Suzanne says, you have details on the diamond painting retreat. I have not heard about one and would love information on it, even though I am sure I could not go this year if registration is still open. And thanks for the comment, Suzanne. Yeah, the retreat that I am going on, I keep mentioning it, but I don't say much about it. It, it's called the Great Lakes Retreat, and it is in Ohio, and it is sponsored by or hosted by a couple of people, a couple of creators, and they opened up the registration, I think it was like in September of last year, and with, I don't know about all the other retreats, because this is the one that I was just really focusing on that I heard about from last year. And sounded really good and it was something that I thought I would enjoy but on the retreat that I am going to you sign up for the retreat you fill out a form and again I think it was in September may have been October but pretty sure it was September and they had it was random um, you would fill out the form and then they would randomly choose the group would randomly choose who would go i think it was just you know a draw basically and then they would send a message on if you were chosen or not and then you decided you know if you still wanted to go and you had to pay a deposit well i whenever it first came up for me they sent me a message and they said that i did not make the first round, but that I was in the next round, close to the top of the next round. And so less than a month later, I got an email stating that um, I had been randomly chosen 
and did I still want to go? So I said that I did, and they you know got me set up, and so you have to um, pay, you have throughout the year to pay, and this retreat is, I think it sounds like it's going to be like all the bells and whistles. It's going to be a really nice retreat. You pay the one price, meals are included, so that's really nice. And then also um, you have a hotel room that's included with that one price, and which I really like because now the hotel's included, the food's included, so I don't have to worry about anything after I pay that except for how I'm going to get there. So I live in Georgia and I am going to fly. I mean, I could have driven, I guess, but the drive was going to be a long one, and I really didn't think that I wanted to drive that far by myself. And I went ahead, I found some good airfares, so that's what I am doing. And the retreat is in June this year. I think the retreat is around the same time every year. And last year it was in the same location. So it doesn't mean that's going to be in the same location next year. But if you're interested in the retreat, make sure that you are following along with uh, Mindy's Diamond Painting or Mindy's Diamond Moments, I think. I'll put her information below. And when I find out about the retreat next year, once I know that it um, that it's going to be open, then I will also let you guys know in case anybody is interested. They added more this year than last year, and there's around 60 of us going. I think maybe 65, if I remember correctly. And we have been on Zoom calls to get to know each other and to learn more about the retreat. So that has been a lot of fun. And you do room with somebody. So I do have a roommate already set up. And if you don't have, um, you don't choose a roommate, then they'll choose for you. But I've chosen somebody. And we decided, you know, together that we will room together. We don't really know each other. We've talked, you know, online before. There are some that are going that, you know, I definitely have listened to. I've heard the names. But other than that, I really don't know anybody, which is very unusual for me. But for me to go somewhere that I don't know anybody, it's a very strange place. I've never been to Ohio, so know nothing about the area. But I'm really looking forward to it. I think I've decided finally what I'm going to take and work on. There are other retreats, but that's the only one that I was really focused on. I know that sometime, I don't know if it's this year or next year, to be honest, but... Crafting with Shay is going to have a retreat, and it's going to be in Texas. There is another retreat that's also in Texas, I think around March or so. I don't know much about that one either, just because I knew that I wouldn't be able to go. The timing would not have been good for me, so I didn't even really look into that one. And they were going to have someone that's going to handle like all the information on the retreats and have an Excel spreadsheet going. But I have not heard if that is actually going to happen. If it has happened, you know, who's going to do it or anything like that. But if any of you know of any retreats, feel free to include that underneath the comments. Or you can let me know and I can get more information for you guys. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. And once you get into the retreat, then the next year you will have first dibs if you want to go or not. All right, there we go. I knew something did not look right there. But I will definitely let you guys know how the retreat was. Since I've never been, I want to say that, you know, it's going to be fun. I think it will be, but I can't say, you know, what all happens at the retreat or anything like that since I've never been. 
but I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun getting to know people in our community, getting to know others at Diamond Paint, because I really don't know anybody that is local that Diamond Paints. And to be able to just sit there from Thursday until I leave on Sunday and Diamond Paint and just you know have that nice weekend with like-minded crafters, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. And I will try to do a video there and even if it's just a really short video, maybe it's a live video to say hi to you guys, let you know how it's going. I think that would be a lot of fun too. Okay, so the next one is from Thurwaya. Because I am buying on a budget, I tend to buy for upcoming events. I bought my j -Wall in January, my old masters for Summer of the Masters this month. And we'll need to buy a canvas I have my eye on for drills and chills soon. I see people inquiring whether there is any money to be made in diamond painting. I let them know the market is flooded. Furthermore, your drills must be per perfectly placed. You must be extremely fast and good luck finding buyers. If you want to diamond paint, it's got to be from your heart. And I totally agree with that. And part of, I think that comment came from the fact that my husband and I went to a festival that was close to our house and there was a lady there selling diamond paintings and she had some that were already completed and then she had some that she had purchased and she was trying to, I guess, de-stash. The ones that she had completed, they were not from... I could, I could say without a shadow of a doubt that 95% of hers did not come from a premium company. They came from discount companies, which is fine, but she was trying to sell those for over $100, and that was without frames. The ones that were in frames, she was trying to sell in the 200s. And my husband was looking at it and he's like, well, if she can sell this, yours looks a lot nicer and you could you know, sell some too. And I told him, I said, I don't want to do that. I want to do it for fun. And I don't want to just make it a job because then that's going to be where I'm not going to have fun with it. And I don't want to do that. So he kind of agreed with me on that too. He's like, you know, you're probably right. You probably would get tired of it. And... And then I told him, I said, what she is selling these for is crazy, crazy amount. I cannot imagine anybody spending that much money. And when we left, we had been there for a couple of hours. And then we, we left, we walked back past her booth. And I don't think she had sold anything. It didn't look like anything had moved. And so that's where that came from, that... The diamond paintings that this lady was selling was really expensive. And if she can sell them, you know, good luck to her. But I was just floored at how much she was trying to sell these paintings for. And really, not to say anything bad about, you know, her as a the woman as a diamond painter. I didn't know her. I don't know anything about her. But I was looking, and I guess only a diamond painter would notice this but her drills were not straight at all. I mean, they were pretty rough. And I would think that if you're going to sell a diamond painting, that your diamonds need to be straight. They need to be a little bit better than what hers were. That's just my opinion. But again, if you're not a diamond painter, you may not have known that that's what it was supposed to be. And my husband, because he always sees mine, he always knows that how particular that I am with my diamonds, that um, he kind of laughed and he said, you know, I can tell that these aren't like yours. And he's like, I don't know why, but it looks different. And I said, well, mainly because 
it's not as straight as it should be. Not to say that mine are always straight because they're not, but I don't sell them either. And I would feel like if I were to sell diamond painting, it would have to be like absolutely phenomenal for me to even think about doing that because I don't think that would be very fair trying to sell to somebody and then it's not as nice as it could be or as nice as it should be. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that if you were to diamond paint and you were to try to sell that yours would have to be perfect as well that may just be me the way that i am but i would think that it would need to at least be halfway correct and she was the only one that was selling diamond paintings i didn't see anybody else most of them were selling different things that they made like wind chimes jewelry but a lot of the items were expensive there was a lady who um was she was an artist and she was actually selling watercolor paintings and they were gorgeous but they were really pricey as well we ended up buying snow cones we didn't buy anything else but we bought a snow cone and we really weren't looking to buy anything. We were just going to get out. It was a nice day. We thought, well, this will be perfect. We can just go downtown to our little town where we live, walk around, just see what's going on. Because we hadn't been to the festival in years. And we asked my daughter if she wanted to go, and she said she didn't. And she wanted to hang out with a friend. So that was you know, good because... We eventually, once we had gotten there, we realized it was really crowded. And I don't think she would have liked that too much. She doesn't like to be in a lot of crowds. And there were people everywhere. There were dogs. People were walking their dogs. You know, and that was all outside, so that was fine. But you had to really watch so you didn't run into a dog or run into a person. And that would have bothered her. So it was just as well that she didn't go. Okay, the next, the next comment is from Deborah. I hope your daughter gets the job she wants. And yes, she did. And Madison is really enjoying her job. She is now working at a hospital in South Dakota. And she um, just started, but she is really enjoying it. She thinks she's going to like it. She said she has to do some kind of gross things, and she said it didn't bother. Her. So she said if she's already had to do that, it hasn't bothered her, then that's definitely a plus. And she was just worried because, you know, she said, what happens if I don't like medical? And I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and then I've got to start from square one to figure out what I really want to do. And so I told her, I said, I'm sure you will like medical. You're going to have to just give it a chance because it's something new. It's not something you've ever done, so you're not going to know if you like it. And until you do it, you're not going to know. And so far, so good. So we are thankful for that. Let's see. The next one is from Lisa. Lisa says, sounds like your husband has the same mindset as me when it comes to Disney. It will be walking fast. I will be walking fast too, trying to see everything. I guess I'm still just a kid at heart. And thanks, Lisa. And um, we were talking about Disney and that my ex-husband loves Disney. He, just, he always has. And he is trying to talk Paige, my daughter, into going to Disney with him. And she loves Disney, but she doesn't really like going with him because he walks really fast, especially at Disney. He doesn't want to stop. He's just constantly on the go. And Paige isn't like that. She likes to stop. She likes to take breaks. She likes to shop. She likes to just, you know, sit and get something, you know, a snack or whatever. And so for her... That just, um, she just didn't like going because of that. And he likes to go from morning until night. 
And so he asked me, you know, why doesn't Paige like to go? Why don't she want to go to Disney? I thought all kids like to go to Disney. And so I went ahead and told him. I'm like, she doesn't like to go to Disney because she thinks that, you know, you just don't give her breaks and, you know, that just bothers her. So he told her, he's like, we will have breaks if you want to go. Because he just, he loves Disney more than the kids. And we used to go to Disney all the time when the kids were younger. And he did walk fast then, still does now, except he's a little bit slower now than what he used to be. But he still is a kid at heart when it comes to Disney. My husband has never been to Disney. And Paige and I are trying to talk him into it. She wants him to go really bad. And he said, I've never been to Disney. Why do I want to start now? Kind of thing. And so we're trying to talk him into it, into going. And she said, it's really funny. She said, my dad doesn't want to go too much. But my stepdad, I'm trying to talk him into go. My dad really wants to go. And he's just, you know, chomping and begging me to go. And he's just having a fit because he wants to go to Disney. But then she said, I want my stepdad to go. He didn't want to go. And so I told her, well, you know, you're just, if you want to go, you better just go ahead and decide that you want to go with your dad. Because I don't know if Dave is going to want to go. I don't know if I can talk him into it. And I'll go just Paige and I. I've gone with just the kids when he didn't want to go. It's been about three years or so. Let's see, where am I? I go all the way down. Oh, this is good. Okay. It's been about three years or so. It, well, at least it was before the pandemic when we were able to go. And he didn't want to go then. So the kids and I went and we did just fine. I don't really like to go places like that by myself, but Madison was with me and she had taken her boyfriend with us. And so, or he went with us. So um, we, we felt safe. It didn't feel you know, any problems or anything. And then we did go to Disneyland. We had never been to Disneyland before. And so the kids and I, for Madison's graduation, went to Disneyland in California. First time I had been to California. So that was a lot of fun. And so I'm comfortable with going. I would just rather him go with us. It would just be nice to have, you know, a family vacation, do something like that. But I don't know if I will be able to get him to go or not. I just don't know. I even told him, I said, I'll even pay for your ticket for Disney. And that, that's saying a lot. I'm like, you don't have to pay for your ticket. I'll pay for your ticket. And we'll just take care of the hotel. If you always do, we'll half everything. I'm trying to make it an incentive. Because if he knows how much it is to go to Disney... He definitely won't go. Because <laughs> Disney's not a cheap place. Okay, let's see. And Tracy says, great video. Thank you for sharing. I wish your daughter all the best for the job. And I'm happy to hear she will get married next year. Looking forward to your next video. Thanks so much, Tracy. And my oldest daughter is engaged. She's going to get married here in Georgia, or that's the plan, because almost all of her friends and family is in Georgia, so it'd be easier to do that than to try to get everybody to South Dakota. She doesn't want to get married in South Dakota. She really would prefer to get married here. So that is what we are talking about. It's going to be towards the end of next year. So we have plenty of time to plan, but I know that we need to start planning or at least thinking a little bit about it because it will come up before we know it. And I told her she needs to start thinking of where she wants to get married and go ahead and book the date because that can go really fast as well. And if she wants to get wherever she wants to get married that she, in the date that she wants, that she can at least go ahead and do that much, but I wouldn't do anything else. So that's kind of what we're talking about. But with her new job, she needs to concentrate on that too. And then school will start back for her in August. 
August or September. So then that's something we got to start thinking about too. So she's going to be a busy little kid, a busy kid, young woman. Um, let's see, one, two, three. All right. Let's see, the next one is from Tijuana Crafter. I think you won. The cooling bag is good for the summer. I love leopard print laundry bag. It's so cute. So that was, and thanks Tijuana. I had to think about that for a minute. It's been a while. Um, I did an unboxing of some totes from a new to me company on my channel. And that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that. I love tote bags. So because of that, when they asked me, I thought, well, that, that could be considered diamond painting accessory because you have to have something, you know, to put things in if you're going to, to go somewhere. So that's what that particular comment was about. And they were really cute. So I really enjoyed the, the what was sent to me. And hopefully they will send again. I haven't heard anything back. I don't know if they are the type of company that will continue to send to you or it's like every now and then. I'm not really sure. But it was a lot of fun to go through and pick out bags. And they have a lot of variety. One, two, there's one there. Okay. Well, at least a lot of these aren't just the one-offs. That just has been nice for the drills. Okay, the next one is from Dip in Time. Uh, Dip in Time says, hello, hello. Wow, you cover lots and your painting is gorgeous. Congrats to Maddie. Glad Paige had fun. Oh my gosh, really dollar, dollar, dollar for DPs. Snow cone, yum. Retreat, yay. Can't wait to see you in person and in the meantime, enjoying your shares. Thanks so much, Dip in Time. Looking forward to meeting you at the retreat as well. I am definitely looking forward to it. I was a little nervous as it started getting a little bit closer, but the more that I'm thinking about it, I keep deciding, you know, what am I gonna take with me? What do I wanna work on? So now it's getting real and it's getting to be a lot of fun. I haven't diamond painted that much um, at one time. I mean, I have for hours, you know, on end, but not that many hours. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if I am going to be sore in between all of the diamond painting because it starts on Thursday evening and then we go until Sunday morning. We have to check out on Sunday morning. So... I have a feeling on my hands going to be really tired. I'm hoping I get a lot done. And I'm looking forward to everyone that's going to be there. I think we're just going to have a great time. This one goes the first one. Okay. I'm really liking these drills. I would definitely recommend Ever Moment. I have not purchased a kit from them a diamond painting except for the blank canvas and this canvas is really good. I haven't had any problems with it and I really do like their drills. So if anything, the drills would be good and I would imagine the canvas would be too. If this canvas, the blank canvas is good, I don't see why that the canvas for their paintings would be too. The only issue would probably be if they are licensed or not. You'd have to watch what you purchase. Okay, the next one is from Carol. Carol says, thanks Debbie for DPing along with me today. I'm working on my day well as well as a Marvel kit that I am enjoying. I so enjoy hearing about your girls and I had to chuckle about Paige and her pin the tail on the donkey. She is quite a smart cookie and I can see why it was a popular game with the see-through blindfolds, laugh out loud. Huge congrats to Madison on her engagement and I will keep good thoughts for her upcoming job interview. We have had a lot of pollen here in Illinois as well and I am tired of the 80 degree days and then the 38 degree days back and forth. I had to chuckle when I was getting a mental picture of you all trying to keep up with your hubby at Disney. Tell Paige I wouldn't like that either. Have a great week. 
So thanks so much to Carol. And yeah, our pollen has been rough this year. Paige is just really allergic and she has had a terrible time. And then she's also allergic to something that is in their school, in their building. So we have just had a rough time with it with her since February on. And we finally found something for her allergies. The pollen has been worse this year than it normally has. And I had a couple of days where I could tell that my allergies were starting to flare up and then they just stopped. So I'm hoping that now that we're getting through some of that, that that's going to help a little bit but we will see let's see and yes we had some crazy weather here too where it was in the 80s during the day and then at night it would just dip down and we would wake up cold but we'd go to bed hot so it was absolutely crazy but now it is starting to taper off some i believe and we are seeing more warmer weather of how it should be this time of year but we're also seeing too i think where it is going to start getting really hot and i don't want that either so i guess i must, i'm kind of picky about my weather i don't like it when it's really hot don't like it when it's really cold i cannot stand to be cold but yet when i get hot then that's even worse and when Paige gets hot she sometimes has anxiety attacks. I don't know what causes that, but she just gets really upset. And so when we go out somewhere, I always make sure that she has plenty of water, that we don't get too hot. And I think that's part of her, her anxiety issues, her She doesn't have any behavioral issues, but she just has some, some other issues that we have been addressing since she was little. And she also has special needs. So we have to remember that too, that sometimes she doesn't know how to handle certain things. One reason why I don't want to go to Disney in the summer is because when she gets really hot, it is miserable for all of us. And she's been that way since she was little, so I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. 4.34. I'm loving all these colors. These are so pretty. Okay, the next one is I only needed, I only needed one. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so thanks, Carol. The next one is from Elizabeth, and Elizabeth says... Good morning. I am currently working on Dreamer Designs Butterfly Orchid Fantasy by Sandra Turbin. I will be finishing the first third today. Most likely will start in the middle third today also. Congratulations to Madison and her fiance on their upcoming marriage. I will keep Madison in my thoughts about her career. Glad Paige had fun at the carnival. I have allergies, especially in spring and summer. Um, she says as a child, she had severe asthma attacks and the attacks actually put her in the hospital and then she says what she is allergic to um let's see and then let's see um she had to get allergy shots as well and that has been a problem with us and then elizabeth says that um there's a particular tree that she was allergic to and they didn't realize that that tree was actually in her yard. And so we had um, Paige tested for allergies a couple years ago and found out some of the trees and what she was allergic to. And so we made sure not to have that those particular trees in the yard. And that's helped her immensely. So if you have really bad allergies, you may want to think about allergy testing. And I hadn't had that done since I was really small. And so I asked Paige if it hurt, and she said it didn't. And they do it different now. I know years ago when 
we had someone in our family allergy tested. They said that they did it um, in their on their back, like on their shoulder, but Paige said it was on her arms. So I found that to be kind of interesting that it is a little bit different now than what it used to be. There's that one. And then we're gonna go over one, two, three, four. It's gonna be a six. Okay, which one? One of these days, guys, I will get it to where I can talk and do this. I don't feel like I'm screwing up. I really just don't want to get to where I'm off a row or something. And then when I get ready to go and do another one, then it's not going to look right. And then I have to figure out what I've done. And that's going to be horrible. So that's why I'm going a little slow because I want to make sure that all of these are in the right place. This one's going to go here, and then I've got two. Oh, I like this color. I need to refill this bottle. I need to remember to do that because I'm getting low on this one. So i got to figure that out, too. I hope I have enough of these. Surely I do. Let's see, one, two. Okay, that's right. And then... I may have to order some more colors because I thought that I ordered enough, but when I decided to go from a regular size on this particular canvas to a mini, some of the colors were different. And I just assumed, I guess I never should just assume anything, but I just assumed that because it was the same pattern or it was the same tie the same exact same pattern that it would be the same DMC numbers and that was not true so I may have to order some more I need to look at that before I start getting really low make sure if I have any that I have not filled up yet and if I need to fill any I have to order because it may take two to three weeks before I get it in. What is this? 550. And these are coming off. I do not like these stickers. I am definitely going to have to work on that this weekend because the stickers are starting to fall off already. So I'm going to get over there. And if the stickers fall off, I will never figure out. As long as they stay in order, I won't have a problem figuring out what it's supposed to be. But otherwise, it will be a problem. All right, so let's go to the next one. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Then we have Carrie. And Carrie says, awesome whip. That's so funny about Paige and the blindfold. I'm praying that Maddie gets a job. She has a lot of exciting things coming up. I think looking into service dog training is a great idea for Molly, and you'll be able to take her whenever you want. Your painting is coming along really well. I love the blues. And thank you, Carrie. And I didn't mention um, on Pin the Tail on the Donkey, Paige had a carnival at school, and I mentioned this on one of my whipping chats. And she came home and she had all this candy and she had Cokes and she doesn't even drink Coke. And so I asked her, you know, where did all this come from? And she just started busting out laughing. And so she said they had different games at the carnival and she played pin the tail on the donkey. I don't remember now. It was three or four times. And I was really surprised at that when she told me. And I said, did they blindfold you? And she said, well, of course, that's how you play pin the tail on the donkey. So I didn't think she would like to be blindfolded. But apparently it didn't bother her and it didn't bother her because she said when they blindfolded her the blindfold wasn't very good and she could see right through it and she could see what she was doing and so that's how she won and i said well that's considering cheating don't you think and i was kind of impressed with her actually but i didn't want to tell her that and so she said well no that's not cheating it's not my fault that they did not secure the blindfold correctly 
And I said, no, but you need to tell them that they didn't. And she said, well, they should have checked it out themselves. So, you know, I couldn't really say too much about that. And I, at first I thought that they did that because of the special needs kids. And she said, we, we were all out there, you know, everybody. So it didn't, nobody knew who anybody was. And so that way there couldn't be any cheating. I'm like, yeah, but you cheated. But she had a good time and they ended up giving everybody Cokes and stuff anyway. So it's not like that she got it and somebody else didn't. But I thought it was kind of funny. And she just kept wanting to do Pin the Tail on the Donkey. I'm like, well, of course she would want to do Pin the Tail on the Donkey because you kept winning. I mean, why wouldn't you? So that was her fun little little day. And she didn't even know that they were going to have this carnival. She just went to school and they said they were having a carnival. They didn't even tell them, which I guess is okay too. But you would think that they would have said something. They could have worn shorts that day because it was kind of hot. But she had a really good time. I just thought it was hilarious that she went ahead and with the pen tail on donkey that she just had to had to keep playing it. Especially when she doesn't like Coke. I'm like, you don't like Coke. Why would you want to play pen the tail on donkey? Okay, so that one's good. And then let's see. Billy says, sounded like fun times for your daughter in school. Awesome that your other daughter may have a new position and congrats on the engagement. Your painting is looking wonderful. I'm loving working on my spirit of flight. I have two canvas ready for May events. And we'll do those between the J wall, which I'm close to done. And I had mentioned about different events that were coming up and ones that I might participate in, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to or not. And so that was part of where that comment came from. And then also with the Josephine wall, with the event that I am co-hosting, we are close to done on that one, on the event. It seems like it just started. I'm hoping that I can get to the halfway point by the end of this month. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I am hopeful that I can. That is the plan anyway, because I really would like to get to the halfway point, put that up until later on in the year, and then go back to it or maybe even work on it a little bit every week in the summer. I would kind of like to do that. Just keep it out, work on it a little bit with the expectation of not getting it finished because I am going to participate in Summer with the Masters. It'll be my third year of participation and I already have my canvas kitted up. I am ready to go on that one. We have several on these, that's good. I have not used this one yet. This is a gorgeous purple, number 550. This is gonna be really pretty. Okay, so thanks so much, Billy. Then we have Deborah, and Deborah says, your canvas is lovely. It'll be interesting to watch you as you progress. I love the colors, they're vibrant and stunning. Enjoy your channel so much. And thanks so much, Deborah. Um, that was on my Josephine Wall canvas. And I love that one. I mean, I really do. The squares are just perfect. They are so easy to do. It doesn't have any gapping whatsoever. There is a lot of confetti. And I do that one um, for a while. And then I'll stop, do something else and then go back to it. But so far, I have not gotten tired of it because when I was working on my Diana, I started to get really tired. I thought, I've got to have a break from this one and then I didn't want to get back to it. So I'm working on my Fly Me to the Moon as much as possible until I get tired and don't want to do it anymore. And hopefully I won't get tired of it, and I might not. But 
I don't want to get to that point and then realize, well, I don't want to do this anymore. Because that's exactly what happened with Diana. And I don't want to do that. This purple is gorgeous. It was the first time I've used this, which I think I'm going to start seeing a lot more colors on here than what I have seen. I've, ones that I've used. I think I'm going to really start to see this becoming more and more vibrant. Okay, so at this one, let me do this line. I don't want to lose my place. We've got two here. My house is really quiet today. My dogs are sound asleep. Paige is at school. The cat's asleep. So it's just me. I don't have any music or anything on because I didn't want it to be a lot of noise in the background. But it is rather quiet in here. All right. Jonah says, thanks for another great whip and chat. Like how you explain what you're doing on your diamond painting. Always enjoy your life update too. Thanks again. And then thanks so much for your comments and for watching. Then we have, let's see, Karen. Karen says, congrats to Maddie's engagement. The diamond painting is beautiful. Take care. And thanks so much for your comment. Then we have Jess Diamond Paints. And Jess says, you're making great progress. As we wind up the last week in April, I am working on the second half of my Hannah Fawn canvas. It's Mother Earth. That's a big one. Plus, I have a 30 by 40 going to be completed on Friday for posting as a Friday finish to my Instagram. After juggling those two huge canvases the past three weeks, this feels like a breeze. May is the end of my boys' curriculum. Can't wait to wrap it all up for the school year and have a nice summer break. My oldest son is done with schooling, and it's going to be odd to just have one doing school in August. Congrats on your daughter's engagement. And thanks so much, Jess. And I probably need to participate in the Friday finishes because that way I will have a finish each week, which I could really use. I think that that would be something that I could do if I did a 30 by 40. Of course, I couldn't do anything larger than that, but I noticed on Instagram that Jess, along with several other people, that they are also doing 30 by 40s. And that seems to have worked out. So I may start doing that too. But I don't know because I've got so many other things going. But I really would like to have a weekly finish. And if I want to get 25 completed this year, then I better get it together and I better start to get some finishes done because I only have, I'll have 12 at the end of this month. I don't think I'm going to have more completions for the rest of the month. So I really need to work on that DP finish. So I may be joining you, Jess, on Instagram and check that out. I have several whips going on now, but I'm really bad about not, I'll get the, start on one whip, I don't get back to the other one, and then it takes me forever to get a finish. So I need to get better than, at this. Okay, the next one is Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. Diane says, your canvas is absolutely beautiful. Good luck to your daughter with her second interview. I hope she gets a job. I think the lady at your town fair was a little bit nuts at the price that she was charging. Me too. That really is just way too much for what she was selling. Thanks for another great whip and chat. So thanks so much, Diane, with the comment. I totally agree on that much money. Maybe next year she will decide that that is not going to sell and she's going to go at a lower price. And I will be curious to see if that happens next year, if she's, if she's there again and that if her prices are lower. This one's $5.52. Another purple. This one's going to be really bright and pretty. 
And I need some bright colors right now because I'm doing a lot of the same colors on different canvases. So it's nice to work on this one where I do have a little bit of a change. This one's going to be that row number seven. All right. Is that the second row or a first row? Second row, that's what I thought. Okay. All right, so let me get back to another one. Karen says, congratulations to Maddie on her engagement. That's exciting news. I hope she gets a job she's interested in. And thanks, it was very exciting that she actually went to the interview and she was really excited about it. She um, wasn't as nervous as she used to be on interviewing. So hopefully that has gotten better for, her. I know it's not easy. I haven't had to interview in a while, but I remember when I did, it can be very nerve wracking when you're going in an interview. You don't know what they're going to ask you. You're trying to be on your you know, best behavior, you're trying to listen. And then some of the questions that some interviewees or interviewers ask, they are tough. And you have to think about it, but you don't want to think too much because then you think, well, if I think too much, then they're going to think I don't know what the answer is or I'm trying to make something up. So it can be very overwhelming, to say the least, for an interview. That's that one. We're going to skip one, two. Right there. Okay. This one goes here. Now when this really starts to get full, it's going to be interesting to see. I normally do not do this many on my on my whipping chats. But I thought I can do it because I want to do six a day. I may have to make this into a two-parter or to stop and then finish it up. I don't want to do it so late, so long that you guys are going to get bored. That would kind of defeat the purpose of me trying to work on this and you guys can get some extra work done. That one's there. All right, let's go to the next one. Lori says, as always, I enjoy your whip and chat so much. I love hearing about Paige and Madison and all their activities. Congrats to all on Madison's engagement. And thanks so much, Lori. I appreciate you watching and listening. Kimba says, Congrats, Maddie. That's exciting. I'm sure you're just thrilled they're planning a move back. This will be an adventure. They'll always remember an expensive and stressful adventure, but an adventure nonetheless. And Paige sounds so cute. And that is from um, Kimba's Crafts. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing to her because her channel is really good. She has a lot of informative videos and on you know new techniques that you can do so it's really cool and then she has really good whip and chats and unboxings and i will also put her information below as well as angie's and they are both co-hosts with me on the J Wall event and we've had a lot of fun doing that getting to know each other we have had such a good time and it's nice to be able to talk to somebody that loves what you enjoy doing and loves the you know same artist. We just love Josephine Wall. I wish that a US company would license her. That would be really nice. I miss that Diamond Art Club doesn't do it anymore. But I purchased all of the ones except for, I did not get the 
all of the zodiac signs that Diamond Art Club had from Josephine Wall of Josephine Walls. I I did get mine and I did not get any others. So I probably I don't know if I really should have, but I probably could have gotten my family zodiac signs and I didn't do it. But that is okay. Okay, so that one. This is looking really good. Let's see. One there. Let me get to a stopping point. And I finished the comments on the one that I'm working on. So I will need to go into the next whip and chat and pull the comments up from there. And I'm really enjoying going through these comments again. I've already gone through them, answered them, or responded on my channel. I like to do that at least once a day. But it's nice because I have comments I can read, so I don't have to worry about what I'm going to discuss. Since I've already done whipping chats, it makes it a little hard. I'm not sure what this part's going to be. I'm still working on the outside of, it looks like a bookshelf. I probably will be for a while. Let's look at five. Oh, 554 looks pretty good too. There's more on here. I may need some more of these drills too. There's not as many as I thought I had. Okay, we are at the hour mark. I can't believe it's taking me this long, but I'm getting closer. So what I'm going to do is put this, the rest of this on a time lapse because I'd like for you to see what this is going to look like. And then also I want to show you my progress. So I'll put you on a time lapse and then um, I will have some music going and then I will be back and I will show you what the bottom part of this looks like that I finished over the past week, and then also this section that we've been working on together. so far I did complete this part during the week and then completed the top six today and I still am not seeing much but it is the beginning and I have looked at 
the actual pattern. It looks just like this, so I am going strong with it. I hope to have more done um, for the next week. Not sure, um, because with this being so confetti heavy that it is taking me a substantial long time, I am seeing the tree here, and then I can just see how the branches are coming down to this part. And then this top is going to start with, I think, a window. So I can kind of see the window pane there. I think that's what it is. And then as I add to it, then I'll be able to see more. I can't decide yet if I want to go across and just do a couple of rows going across until I get to the end of the pattern at the top so I can see exactly how far this is going to go over onto the canvas or if I'm gonna keep working and just work my way down. And if I work my way down, I can probably start to see more of the shape coming through. Whereas if I go across, I'm not gonna be able to see that much, I don't think. But I will decide next time that I get to this. Hopefully that will be tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please click on the like and subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed the time working with whatever you were doing. Hope you got something accomplished. I know that I sure did. I didn't realize it's going to take me this long, but I'm glad that I've gotten this part knocked out. Have a great day, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye!